Warner Brothers have definitely had a pretty hectic year, with loads of changes happening at the company. Fans have been left wondering just what the future of the DC Universe looks like. WB has once again made major changes in its upcoming DC film slate. And in today's video, we'll be going over these changes in a lot of detail. Stay tuned as we dive right in. Starting off, Warner Bros. makes major changes to its upcoming DC film slate. Warner Bros. has abruptly changed the entire DCU schedule. Since the debut of Marvel Studios' first Avengers film, the idea idea of a shared cinematic universe has been a sensation in Hollywood. Unlike the Marvel Cinematic World, many other franchises have had trouble getting off the ground. This includes the DCEU. As a result, DC rethought its approach after a number of unsuccessful ventures and unfavorable reception from both reviewers and fans. The recent theatrical release of James Gunn's The Suicide Squad and Matt Reeves' The Batman show that the emphasis has shifted away from a linked world and toward a director-driven approach. But recent news serves to confirm the perception that the DCEU Slate is still in a fairly chaotic state. Black Adam and the animated DC League of Super Pets 2, planned DC film starring Dwayne The Rock, were first reported to have had most. Black Adam and the animated DC League of Super Pets 2, planned DC films starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, were first reported to have had modest delays into this year's second half rather than their original summer release dates. While they finally got released, the upcoming films have yet again been met with delays. Following up what other movies were subjected to a delay. Black Adam wasn't the only movie to get delayed. It was also revealed that the 2022 release dates of The Flash and Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom had been moved to 2023. After the news was announced, an update was provided. The release date for David Sandberg's Shazam! Fury of the Gods was originally set for December 21st, 2022. It was going to go head-to-head -head against the Avatar The Way of Water. It then got delayed to March 17th, 2023. We're not exactly sure why, but we think that it's possible that they didn't want to compete with the anticipated Avatar sequel. Moving on, what's the reason behind all these sudden delays? According to The Hollywood Reporter, these changes are the result of the COVID-19 epidemic delaying the visual effects on some of the movies. The COVID-19 outbreak ended up affecting production more than anybody initially anticipated, including the delays it caused to numerous filming schedules. Lockdowns, shutdowns due to positive testing, and travel bans are all factors contributing to the current Warner Bros. scheduling delays, which are remarkably similar to those Disney placed on their blockbuster films last year. Fans will undoubtedly be hoping these are the least significant delays. Fans will undoubtedly be hoping that these are the last significant delays we see going forward now that these dates are set and the epidemic appears to have finally lost its hold on studio productions throughout the world. As Warner Brothers continuously touted its future 2022 slate during this year's Super Bowl and as the same video reel was also played during recent cinema showings of the Batman, those projects being posted Postpone surely have an out-of-nowhere vibe to them. Given that Michael Keaton's Batman was supposed to be reintroduced to fans in The Flash and then reappear in a Nick Fury-esque type role in the cancelled HBO Max film starring Leslie Grace's Batgirl, there are definitely some questions lurking about just what's going to happen with the characters in The Flash. Up next, what's the reaction of fans to these sudden delays? The timing of all these delays has undoubtedly puzzled the fanbase, especially those calling for Zack Snyder's DCEU vision to be revived as soon as possible, it's difficult not to wonder what other reasons there are behind these release date shifts. As you'd expect, fans aren't really happy about them. But if it means the extra time is taken for WB to sort the mess they've got behind the scenes, then we suppose it'll be a worthy wait. With James Gunn joining in on the action now, we suppose things will be undergoing big changes again. It'll be interesting to see where the DCU is headed from this point onward. That said, if there's anything we've learned from seeing it over the past few years, it's that it's almost impossible possible to accurately predict where it'll end up, and so we're going to leave that to the great minds at WB and James Gunn. Moving on, Black Adam profits leak to the press, and Warner Bros. executives point to The Rock. Executives at Warner Bros. felt that Dwayne The Rock Johnson was responsible for the media release of Black Adam's false revenue data. Puck News wrote that several Warner's execs think that Dwayne Johnson provided information to Deadline regarding Black Adam's profitability in order to refute earlier claims that the DC movie would cause the studio to lose between 50 and 100 million dollars. In the long run, almost all movies of this scale will finally pencil out once every window is exhausted over years and years. The article added that the allegedly leaked paper was laden with incorrect assumptions. With a 195 million dollar budget, the superhero movie Black Adam made approximately 400 million dollars at the global box office during its nearly seven week run in theaters. Black Adam failed to break even according to an early variety story with just an additional marketing expense of 80 million dollars. 
Johnson denied the lost allegations and emphasized the movie's popularity. The American box office debut of Black Adam brought in $67 million, above initial estimates of $62 million. While these numbers are in line with recent DCEU movies, Black Adam outperformed Shazam, which opened to a domestic total of $53.5 million. Black Adam's box office performance made it seem doubtful that Johnson would bring about a new era for the DC Universe, despite his repeated claims. Next up, the Black Adam sequel, unlikely, despite Dwayne Johnson's enthusiasm. The Hollywood Reporter claims that the original movie's box office results are insufficient to warrant a follow-up, in comparison to a budget that, depending on the source, might have ranged from $190 million to $230 million before marketing. The film has only made $385 million globally. A major Hollywood project is often thought to need to earn quadruple its budget before turning a profit. If this holds true for Black Adam, the movie will be fortunate to make a profit, even after accounting for income from home viewing and merchandise. Experts believe there's little likelihood of a sequel even if the film manages to turn a little profit because sequels typically have higher production expenses than their predecessors. Johnson passionately refuted the notion that the film won't turn a sizable profit in a tweet, estimating the total to be up to $72 million on the positive side. He tweeted in response to prior press claims that the movie might cost Warner Bros. Pictures up to $100 million. Johnson had always had a soft spot for the supervillain Black Adam, who was first introduced in 1945. He's been interested in portraying him since he was a part of a Shazam adaptation that wasn't made in 2007. In this, Black Adam was the antagonist, and Johnson was initially chosen for the lead role. The decision was made to make the character the star of his own movie, with Johnson also serving as producer. The idea of a Black Adam movie's been going around since then, so it makes sense why The Rock is so passionate about it. Following on, James Gunn and Peter Safran may also significantly shift things around. In addition to introducing the title character to the DC film universe, Black Adam marked Hawkman's big screen debut and Henry Cavill's unexpected comeback as Superman. Insiders claim that Johnson's insistence on bringing Cavill back is just another issue that the new DC Studios administration is against. Danny Garcia, who also happens to be Johnson's producing partner, serves as both Johnson and Cavill's manager. That said, James Gunn and Peter Safran are now appointed co-heads of DC Studios, which oversees cinema, TV, and animation in one of the more unexpected developments of the year. They are anticipated to significantly alter how DC properties are shown on large and small screens. Up next, while higher-ups may not be happy with Cavill's return, the fans definitely are. The Hollywood Reporter cited many sources that claimed that the current administration at the recently relaunched DC Studios is dissatisfied with Johnson's emphasis on Superman's comeback or the actor's propensity to exaggerate his own participation in the franchise's future direct. It turns out a lot of what The Rock said might have just been done as a marketing gimmick for his own movie. Despite this, it's clear that the fans have bought into the hype and are hoping for more Cavill and Black Adam. We do wonder, though, if the hype from fans is enough to get Black Adam back on the big screen. What's more, is it going to give us Henry's Superman back? Well, we can only hope that this turns out to be the case. Following up, what exactly was Dwayne Johnson's Superman promise? Johnson had hinted at a full-fledged story about Superman and his unavoidable conflict with Black Adam. Before Black Adam was released, Johnson said, quote, that is the main goal he's been predicting for a while. The star stated that an eventual battle between Black Adam and Superman was the thing they'd been working towards. Plus, the actor has said that he's been pushing for Cavill's comeback for a number of years. Tony Emmerich, the former chairman of Warner Bros. Pictures, wasn't happy with the conditions of Cavill's contract or the actor's management's enforcement of those terms. And so it was previously claimed that he needed to appeal to Warner Bros. Discovery's higher-ups in order to make it happen. Lastly, what are the DCU's plans? Following the resignation of DC Film CEO Walter Hamada, the Warner Bros. business that specializes in comic book films was renamed DC Studios, and James Gunn and Peter Safran were named as co-CEOs. Man of Steel 2, which was said to be in development after Cavill's Black Adam appearance, has been put in question by the current administration. According to a source, even a brief appearance that was apparently scheduled for The Flash might be eliminated because, in the words of the source, there's a dispute inside the studio as to whether or not to maintain the cameo and if its presence promises something that the company would have no intentions to achieve. It's clear that uncertainty is still on the menu for DC fans. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the future of the DC film slate? Please comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.